Welcome to South Korea. Let's get started. South Korea occupies the southern part of the Korean peninsula. It has a predominantly mountainous terrain. The country has a humid continental climate in the north and a humid subtropical climate in the south. Korea prides itself on the vividness of the four seasons. The population of the country is 51.6 million. Korea's modern history is anything but simple. It was annexed by the Empire of Japan in 1910 and at the end of the Second World War the country was divided into Soviet and American zones of occupations. After the Korean War the country was dirt poor. Something had to be done. They had to curb corruption, introduce central planning and begin producing everything that was required by the external market – shoes, clothing, toys and so on. But all this took place under the leadership of military dictators and it wasn't until the 1990s that the country became a truly democratic state. Today it's the world's 11th largest economy by nominal GDP and the world's 5th largest exporter. The fact that Korea was able to get to this point in just 50 years is mind-blowing. Especially knowing that the country has a rather poor supply of natural resources. Today it's the 6th largest car manufacturer, the world's largest shipbuilder, the world's largest manufacturer of memory chips and the list goes on and on. Some of its giants such as Samsung and LG Electronics are known worldwide. By the way, Samsung Group is so big that apart from electronics and home appliances it has automobile production, the chemical industry, finance, insurance and even construction. Did you know that it was Samsung Group that built Petronas Towers in Malaysia, Taipei 101 skyscraper in Taiwan and the Grand Burj Khalifa in Dubai? One of the biggest challenges today for South Korea is how to get along with its unpredictable neighbor, North Korea, because it possesses nuclear weapons and it seems like it's not joking. Poverty and prosperity on the Korean peninsula are divided by the strip of the demilitarized zone, one of the most explosive borders in the world. There is an enormous gap in living standards. The average salary in South Korea is about $2,600 a month and in North Korea just $40. Most Koreans have great work ethic. You can say that Koreans live to work and not work to live. Companies are legally required to provide just 15 days of paid annual leave. But surprisingly, according to a study conducted by the Korea Culture and Tourism Institute, most employees only took an average of 8.6 days off out of those 15 days. There is currently quite a high demand for native English speakers in South Korea and many expats opt for jobs teaching English as a foreign language. Korea is known for its intensity. Starting at a young age, many children are forced into this hurried culture and there's no turning back. They are raised to study multiple hours a day at schools of all kinds. Art, English, math, science, you name it. Koreans take education very seriously. Comes as no surprise that funding of science in Korea is one of the highest in the world. South Korea is one of the most ethnically homogeneous countries in the world. Most Koreans are peaceful and friendly. Crime is at a very low level. In most parts of the country it's absolutely safe to walk at night even for a girl. And if you leave your bicycle in front of a store you don't have to worry about it being stolen. On top of that there's video surveillance everywhere. Respect for one's elders is a huge part of Korean culture.